It came about because um, my mother, several things, you know, as uh, this is always true, like things come from all things and they crystallize. But my mother had just passed away and uh, we were transferring all this 16 millimeter video to, to video. These home movies were on 16 millimeter. We were always watching them in projector. I didn't have a projector, so I transferred them. And then once in a while I would, you know, say, oh, let's watch one and put it on for the kids to see, my kids. And I would say, oh, you know, I've never seen that one. Oh, that's interesting. She never showed me this. This is before I was born. Why didn't she show me that? And they would be these years and wonderful. And then I would realize that there are people in them who are still around. And CBS had just done a kind of tell-all tabloid-esque uh, movie about her life about 15 minutes after she passed away, which was so bizarre to begin with. It's the show that put CBS on the map and that they would do something yeah. so icky, so quick. I was, hmm, didn't get that. So I thought, well, there's an opportunity here to find some of these people, maybe. The Van Johnsons and Ann Miller and June Havoc and, you know, Marcella Rabin and the, the Ir Irma Kuzlis and those people who were around them all the time and interview them and, and ask them questions about what they were really like. And, and it was a daughter's search for, who am I? Because my kids are getting to a certain age and there's problems and what kind of mother am I? It was just all of that. And so I set upon finding these people and setting them down and just like you're doing with me right now and I, I just had my list like you have of my questions that I wanted to know and I talked to them. I had something like 160 hours of video and um, all these home movies, all these colors, soundless home movies. And after three years of cultivating all this, I, uh, I thought, well, what is this? What should I do with it? It's costing me a lot of money. I should do something with it. So I went to NBC. Why NBC, you might ask? Hmm. And I, I offered them some sort of a special, maybe a documentary type thing. And, and I showed them 10 minutes of the home movies and 10 minutes of some of the interviews. And Warren Littlefield said, you got it. I'll give you um, Valentine's Night. 1993 and I was about eight months away and we ended up directing it and editing it. I edited it while I was doing Lost in Yonkers on Broadway. I literally screaming these lines in the in front of people and then going backstage and highlighting the transcript so that I would know what to edit the next day. I, um, I'm very proud of that film because it wasn't a documentary for documentary sake. A lot of people have done those since then which is just totally cr chronological what happened to Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted a daughter's search for what made her parents happy. Why couldn't they get along? You know, why did they have all that they had and they, they ended up leaving one another? You'd think with all they had that it would be the perfect life. And I tried to go backwards in time and look at their family situations and not come to any absolute conclusions, but let the viewer do that themselves because I don't really know. I'm not a psychologist, I don't really know. But I learned a lot from asking other people what they thought, and I tried to put an objective portrait out there from a loving point of view that was neither trash nor tribute. And I think I did that. And when we won the Emmy, that was one of the nicest events of my life having, next to having my children. Tough to edit it down and also tough to be objective and to tell the truth as much as I could, because uh, some of it's not so pretty. If you really want to get down to telling the truth, and people said things about each, each of them that was like, oh, really? But I had to step aside sometimes. The only thing I would do differently if I went back, I would like to re-edit some of it now, is my own damn interview that I did, because it was, I was so close to it then, that when I look at it now, I say, oh, look at you, you think you're so smart, but you can still see the chip on my shoulder. You know, you can still read in my face the sadness that we didn't get them. Except I learned from all those interviews and having it soak in, why? And I, I know now, I know what their path was and I get it. My path is to go through this and learn from that. And I'm okay with that now, I'm tr I am. They were working parents and a lot of people have working parents. But I see my I face in that and I think, mm, I, I, I wish I had been a little savvier, but it is what it is. And it was my search at that time, so. Mm -hmm.